The gigantic blast is a thought that has shaped how we could decipher the universe, outlining the supporting of current cosmology according to Einstein's theory. Likewise, what is known as coarse-reading cosmology, the enormous blast was the second the universe began its development, signifying the making of all matter, energy, and presence. This event happened around 13.8 billion years ago and prompted the enormous universe we notice today. Anyway, late advancements in cosmology suggest that the enormous blast likely wasn't the overall start. Rather, there might have been a stage before the colossal explosion that was also critical in forming the universe as far as we might be concerned. This pre-period is known as endless development. Extension is quite possibly one of the most intriguing pieces of modern cosmology. It suggests that, before the hot, thick time of the colossal blast, the universe went through an impossibly fast emotional development. During this period, the universe was duplicating in size at a staggering rate. To precisely show how outrageous this development was, assuming the universe began smaller than an atom, it would have extended to be tremendously bigger than the entire detectable universe inside a little part of a second, around one quadrillionth of a second. This extension stage didn't stand the test of time long, but it assumed a critical part in shaping the universe. When the inflationary stage completed, the energy driving this extension was released into space, warming it up and making the particles of matter that make up all that we find in the universe. In numerous ways, Extension is the antecedent to what we consider the colossal blast. While the hypothesis of extension is broadly accepted in cosmology today, numerous unanswered questions remain. For instance, we don't yet understand what began development, what made it stop, or how long it endured. These are open inquiries in cosmology, and noting them is significant for a deeper understanding of the beginnings of the universe. Before development, the universe was an inconceivably thick, small place of issue, often referred to as a peculiarity. From this peculiarity, development began and at last prompted the development of atoms, particles, stars, and worlds. The possibility of the enormous blast as the start of everything is engaging. However, current cosmology suggests a more complicated picture. Some hypotheses suggest that the universe went through a phase preceding the enormous blast. During this stage, Development made the universe grow at an uncommon rate, expanding in size by basically a factor of a trillion in a fraction of a second. This rapid development was powered by an unusual structure of energy that pervaded void space. At the point when development completed, the energy that had driven this development was changed over into particles, warming the universe and prompting the hot, thick state we call the gigantic blast. This inflationary stage was cold and void, but it set the stage for the making of issue and the universe we see today. One of the more speculative thoughts in modern cosmology is the idea of everlasting expansion. This hypothesis suggests that expansion didn't shut down at the same time. Rather, it halted in patches, creating a wide range of pockets, each of which could be a universe in its own right. Our universe would be only one of these patches. As indicated by everlasting expansion, there could be an endless number of these universes, each with its own arrangement of actual regulations and constants. This is where the possibility of the multiverse becomes an integral factor, the idea that our universe might be one of numerous or even an infinite number of universes. If this thought ends up being right, it would make sense of why our universe is so finely tuned for life. In this multiverse situation, each conceivable blend of actual regulations could exist in different universes, and we end up living in one where conditions are perfect for stars to form and for carbon, oxygen, and other elements fundamental for life to exist. While hypotheses like everlasting expansion and the multiverse remain speculative, the possibility of expansion itself is grounded in observational proof. The most grounded support for expansion comes from the enormous microwave background radiation, CMB, the oldest light in the universe. The CMB was transmitted about 380,000 years after the colossal blast, when the universe cooled enough for particles to form. By then, the universe became transparent, and this light has been traveling through space ever since. By concentrating on the CMB, cosmologists can essentially take a baby image of the universe. The light gives signs about the universe's earliest days, 
helping researchers comprehend what happened not long after the enormous blast and offering support for the inflationary model. One of the most critical revelations came from the European Space Agency's Planck satellite, which took detailed pictures of the CMB. These pictures reveal subtle variations in the temperature of the early universe, and these variations match the predictions made by the inflationary hypothesis. This experimental proof reinforces the possibility that expansion isn't simply a hypothetical speculation, but a crucial part of how we grasp the universe's beginnings. Grasping the colossal blast and what went before it requires binding together two of the main theories in modern physics, Einstein's theory of general relativity and quantum theory. General relativity describes the large-scale structure of the universe, including the behavior of galaxies, stars, and planets, while quantum theory describes the behavior of particles on the smallest scales. To answer the basic inquiries in cosmology, such as what the universe is made of and where it came from, scientists must develop a theory that combines these two frameworks. This would allow us to understand not just the enormous blast, but also the conditions that led to it. One of the most shocking aspects of the universe is its size. The most distant objects we can observe are around 47 billion light years away, meaning the detectable universe is around 94 billion light years across. This might seem strange, given that the universe is only 13.8 billion years old. How could the observable universe be bigger than the time it would take light to traverse it in the age of the universe? The answer lies in the fact that the universe has been expanding over time. As the universe expands, the distance between objects increases, making distant objects farther away than the time it would take light to reach us. Most scientists believe that the universe extends far beyond the observable universe. In fact, it's possible that the whole universe is infinite in size. The observable universe is basically the part we can see, limited by how far light has traveled. Needed to go since the enormous blast, there might be immense locales of the universe that we will always be unable to see. While it's conceivable the universe is boundless, the inquiry remains. Is there anything past the universe? Most researchers feel somewhat unsure about this thought. Assuming the universe is endless, there is no outside to it. The universe would basically proceed with everlastingly. Regardless of whether the universe is limited, it probably won't make sense to examine anything past it. Past would suggest something beyond space, which itself is a property of the universe, so the possibility of past the universe probably won't have any physical meaning. Similarly, as the start of the universe is a subject of great study, so too is its eventual end. The best current estimate is that the universe will keep expanding perpetually. This is due to a strange phenomenon known as dark energy, which is causing the universe's development to accelerate. Before the discovery of dark energy, researchers trusted that the universe's development would ultimately slow down due to the gravitational pull of matter. There was, indeed, even a possibility that the universe could stop growing and begin contracting, leading to a big crunch. However, dark energy is by all accounts pushing the universe apart increasingly fast. If this acceleration continues, the universe will continue to grow endlessly, ultimately reaching a state where galaxies drift so far apart that they become segregated from one another. In this situation, the universe would become cold, dim, and empty. Stars would burn out, worlds would float apart, and matter would eventually rot. This is sometimes called the Big Freeze, or heat death of the universe. The account of the universe, from the Big Bang to its possible end, is one of the most significant and complex stories in science. While we've learned a great deal about the origins of the universe through the theory of expansion and the study of the cosmic microwave background, many inquiries remain unanswered. What caused expansion to start and end? What lies beyond the observable universe? Is there a multiverse? And if so, how many other universes exist? As researchers continue to study the universe using advanced technology and theories that unify quantum mechanics with general relativity, we will undoubtedly gain deeper insights into these mysteries. The journey to understand the universe is ongoing, and every discovery brings us one step closer to answering the ultimate questions about our world. The exploration of the universe's beginnings and structure isn't simply a scientific endeavor. It also raises philosophical questions about existence, reality, and our place in the universe. One significant area of interest in cosmology is the nature of dark matter 
which is believed to make up approximately 27% of the universe's mass energy content. Unlike ordinary matter, dark matter doesn't radiate, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter. It is essential to understand dark matter for explaining the formation and behavior of galaxies. Ongoing studies and observations have provided insights into dark matter's properties, but its exact nature remains elusive. Several candidates have been proposed, including weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs, axions, and other intriguing particles. However, up until this point, no direct evidence of dark matter particles has been found, as the search continues through a combination of terrestrial experiments, astrophysical observations, and simulations that model how dark matter influences the large-scale structure of the universe. Another key area of research is dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark energy constitutes about 68% of the universe's total mass energy content. Its discovery was unexpected and has led to numerous hypotheses, including the cosmological constant and dynamic fields. Understanding dark energy is critical, as it will determine the ultimate fate of the universe. Researchers are studying its effects on cosmic structures and attempting to determine whether it remains constant over time or evolves. In addition to dark matter and dark energy, the study of large-scale structure formation offers significant insights into the universe's history. Observations of the Cosmic Web, a vast network of galaxies, clusters, and filaments, have revealed how matter clusters together, affected by gravity, leading to the complex structures we see today. Simulations run on supercomputers help scientists understand how these structures formed over billions of years and continue to evolve. Astrobiology also intersects with cosmology as researchers attempt to determine the conditions necessary for life beyond Earth. The search for exoplanets, planets orbiting stars outside our solar system, has intensified with thousands discovered in recent years. Some of these exoplanets exist in their stars' habitable zones, where conditions may be right for liquid water to exist. By studying these distant worlds, researchers hope to learn more about the potential for life elsewhere in the universe and the factors that make a planet hospitable to life. Finally, the role of fundamental physics in cosmology cannot be overstated. The search for a unified theory that combines general relativity and quantum mechanics continues to challenge physicists. Theories like string theory and loop quantum gravity aim to bridge these two areas, offering explanations for phenomena like black holes and the early universe. As technology advances, so does our ability to observe and interpret cosmic phenomena. Space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are transforming our understanding of the universe by providing unprecedented detail of distant galaxies and cosmic events. With each groundbreaking observation, we move closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's formation, evolution, and ultimate destiny. The study of the universe is a rich tapestry of scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection. From the fundamental forces that shape large-scale structures to the search for extraterrestrial life, our exploration is a testament to humankind's enduring curiosity about the cosmos. As we strive to answer these profound questions, we gain a deeper appreciation for the vastness and complexity of the universe.